Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're going to be checking out the uh, USB solar charger and uh, what it can possibly charge for you. Now, the kit that I purchased um, came with a lot of various different attachments. Um, we'll get into that in just a moment. Um, now I have pulled this unit out already and I've charged it via my USB. And um, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see the lights lighting up. Uh, I have my light pointing straight down on top of it, but yeah. So when it has direct sunlight or if it's sitting in any type of ambient light that's bright enough, the unit will um, charge. What's in the box here? Let's go through this. Instruction set there and Chinese apparently. So we have a wall adapter and um, on the back of the unit here um, it'll say um, output and input and then the LED lights up there. So the input being 5 volt, that's how you charge the unit. And there is a small cable that comes with that. You simply plug it into the mini USB, plug it into your USB on your computer, and it will charge this unit. The output side um, has a USB adapter that hooks up to a smaller plug. I'll try to give you a little look at that right there. And that's whatever attachments fit into. Now I purchased this one because it had so many different attachments, but I have to say I'm a little disappointed because uh, uh, this was supposed to work with my iPod Touch. It does not. Um, I purchased it also to charge my cheap little Samsung prepaid phone. It, the connector is the wrong size for this Samsung. Um, so I'm already off to a bad start um, as far as my charging capabilities. The main thing I wanted to do is um, be able to charge my iPod Touch. So I've got this plugged in here and I'm going to plug this into my iPod Touch. And as you can see, it does absolutely nothing. So, a little disappointed on that. The uh, Samsung adapter that came with this unit is unfortunately for probably a different model. It's a close fit, um, but it's not quite on the money. I mean, it's just barely, barely a different size there, so. <coughs> and I don't want to try to force that in um, too hard or whatever so anyway that's out so no charging the cell phone on this unit what other options do we have we have my mini DV MD80 um, which charges through a mini USB so we should uh, technically be able to well it does have an attachment so let's just use the actual attachment here to go to the mini uh, USB connector here I should get a charge indicator light up here. Okay, so the unit is charging. Well, it's active. Let's see if it actually starts charging. So it did activate the camera, and it looks like it is holding a charge as far as using it with my Mini DVMD80, which, okay, so we're getting somewhere. Now I have the cheap little generic uh, MP3 player. <coughs> Um, that I purchased way back when, a long time ago, and I barely even used it. Uh, let's see if it gives me any kind of power indication here. Mm. Oh, here we go, okay. So yes, it is charging this item. The red light indicator is on, so it is ch able to charge that. I'll turn that off there. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, the next item that I have is <coughs> the cable for my 2 gigabyte waterproof mp3 player. So let's plug this in. Let's see if we get any kind of a power charge out of this item. Okay, yes there is power. So it's really going to be hit and miss on this. Yeah, so it's flashing, okay. So it is taking a charge on that. So uh, apparently this is going to be a real hit and miss kind of deal as far as using the solar charger. Now as far as this charger goes, um, it takes um, anywhere from 10 to 
12 to 15 hours to get a full charge sitting in the sunlight. I have not verified this yet. Um, I will do so um, in the future. Um, something else that I found that I was able to charge, um, I have my um, Dexam P-Flip um, dock charger that I use for my iPod Touch. And uh, this charges through a USB cable, standard mini uh, USB cable. So let's plug this cable in. It's another rechargeable item that I have. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it is charging this unit. Okay, so this might work out a little bit better than I that I thought it was upon first inspection. I, I am rather disappointed, however, that it's not charging my iPod Touch. I really would have liked that. You know, actually, hang on. I have an extra iPod Touch cable that I've not tried before. So this is just a standard charging cable for iPod Touch. So I'm going to plug that into the base of this and let's see what happens. And it looks like nothing, once again. Okay, so, no. So yeah, like I said, it's kind of hit and miss with this item. Um, this one is a 2600 milliamp hour um, unit, so it will produce uh, quite a bit of uh, um, power on the back side of that. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can get the specs off the back of this. So there you have it. Um, <clears throat> these can be purchased pretty much all over eBay, um, 12, 10, 12, 15 dollars, whatever. And depending on where you purchase it from, it's going to have various different connectors. Uh, one other thing that I had purchased this for originally was for my Samsung headphones to be able to charge these. And uh, let me go ahead and plug this cable back in here real quick just to verify. When I flip my case open, I should be able to flip this over to the correct side here. Plug this in and have it charge up my headphones. And that's a negative on that as well, unfortunately. It's not going to charge it, so. Nope. So, um, I would say out of the seven items that I intended on charging with this unit, three of the primary items do not work properly. So, kind of a loss there. I'll do some more testing on the actual charge time and, um, <coughs> You know, it is nice that you can charge a lot of various different items. And having I purchased the 2600 milliamp hour because uh, that's you know one of the maximum ones that I could find on here. So if I want to recharge my iPod Touch, I could charge up this unit um, as a secondary um, because this will give me about two charges out of my iPod Touch. So I can relate, you know, transfer the power back and forth. All that kind of defeats the purpose of it, but. Um, so, um, anyway, um, and the voltage specs are all correct as far as uh, recharging the various different items. Um, the input is a DC 5 volt, uh, 500 milliamp, and the output is a DC 5.5 volt, 800 milliamp. And in order to charge the iPod Touch, you need 800 milliamps, and, you know, so it doesn't do it. Anyway, um, on the overall, though, um, I, you know, okay, it sounds like I'm bagging this item. Um, it, it charges it charges various different items and that's what its purpose is so it's doing its job just not to the full potential that I purchased it for so anyway um, it's a good item um, you know if you guys are interested um, I hope this video kinda sheds some light on its capabilities and what it will and won't do so don't be led too easily by the ads that you see online um, you know obviously through this testing process uh, if I find other items that I'm able to charge with this, I'll do a secondary video to this. Or if I figure out a way to charge my iPod Touch through it officially, then I will post another video. So, anyway, there you have it. It's the 2600 milliamp solar rechargeable USB unit out of China, sold on eBay. And if this video helped you out, please post a comment. If, uh, if it didn't, then Pope Mahone, and us as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help.